my mom was a speech therapist, so she actually started the first school for the hearing impaired in Mumbai yeah. many years ago when it was Bombay. Um, and so we always had kids in and out of our home, always kids who had some, some of them had multiple disabilities, some of them were hearing impaired. The second was from a very early age, um, my parents encouraged me to volunteer. So I would spend my summers volunteering from the age of 12 um, every summer and always with kids and always with kids who had some form of special need or the other and so I realized very early on that I just loved being with kids. I think that was another big influence. I think the third influence was just having a really strong education myself so I was I actually started out in a French school system then a British school system, American school system, international school system, never went to an Indian school but had a lot of opportunity to experience different forms of education, great teachers. So from a very early age, I realized that I'd been very lucky with the education that I got. And then contrasting um, to that, we would do a lot of trips back to India and I would see a lot of kids who didn't have the same opportunities. I think very early on, that idea of something feels unequal in the world um, was planted. So I, I feel like it was a combination of all of these things that led to eventually what I did.